I'm back again just doing a little exercise you know I've been really bad about doing this for a few months now I'm just now starting to get my tendons used to lifting weight again aside from all the walking I've been doing but you know I'm not actually here to talk about working out today or any type of exercise so much so I've had a number of people ask me how I was able to quit vaping vaping you know using those vaporizer pens or vape devices when I started vaping, I had already quit smoking. You know, that's the amazing thing to me, is that I smoked for, geez, 30 years, maybe more. I started smoking cigarettes when I was 15 years old, and I smoked nearly my whole life. There was a few times where I had quit for a little while, but I started back both of those times. And I had just quit smoking Geez, uh, let's see, I must have been almost 40. It's probably 42, 43 years old the last time I quit smoking. And then about a year later, my mother-in-law came to town and had this new thing called a vape pen. And I thought, man, this is pretty cool. I can enjoy getting that nicotine hit, which I always thought was a good way to help keep your mental focus. And I didn't have to have all the negative effects of cigarettes, the stinky clothes, and the, the carcinogens and the stuff that's in cigarettes that they said wasn't in vape. Boy, I got addicted to that thing quickly. I bought one of those little pens and within no time, I was buying another one that was a little bit larger and then another one that was a little bit larger and then another one that was a little bit larger. Each time getting something that had a longer battery life or something that had a larger container. By the time I was done, I was using a hex ohm with a super tank I was constantly having to keep that thing filled. Between Katie and I, we were spending about $200 a month just on vape juice. Then every once in a while, I would need a new box, which, you know, those hex ohms were over $100 just for one of those. So it, I realized pretty quick that this was, this was getting to be an expensive habit. And once I started doing Lion Diet and started getting in shape again and being such a stickler for what I was putting in my body, I started to think about this thing that I was sucking on that had this sweet taste to it. Your body reacts to the sweet taste as soon as it hits your tongue. So I was wondering if maybe vaping was inhibiting my weight loss or maybe causing me to start producing insulin. Now I don't know if that's the case or not, but I do know that I would wind up coughing occasionally and that it wasn't always as easy to breathe especially when I was doing scuba diving. So I thought, you know, I need to quit this vaping. Not only is it an expensive habit, but it can't be better than pure air, even though it was much better than cigarettes, but it wouldn't be as good as pure air. And if I'm being so careful with what I'm eating, why would I want to breathe something that I shouldn't be breathing? I just figured that this is something I needed to get away from. So people ask me, how did you wind up getting away from vaping? Because it's a hard thing for them to break free from. Well, I think the first thing you got to do is start tapering off some of the nicotine. I started switching from uh, three mil, three milliliters. I don't know how to describe it, but I used to buy a, one of the lower amounts of nicotine. I started off using 24, which was the highest. But I remember finding that that was rough on my throat and I started cutting that down and cutting it down until eventually I found one that came in a 1.5 milligrams. And then I started buying the zero nick as well and I would mix, when I would fill my tank, I would fill it half with zero and half with the lowest I could buy so that I was slowly weaning myself off of it until I was down to zero nick. And still, a month or two went by that I was vaping zero nick, but I was getting to where I wasn't needing the vape as much. So I would tell myself, I'm gonna leave this at home today or I'm not gonna carry this with me everywhere I go. And I would put it down for a little while, so I'd give myself a chance to get used to not carrying it everywhere. Eventually, I would try leaving the house without it, or even going on longer trips without it, until one day, it just became easy to say, you know what, I don't need this thing anymore. It's a crutch I don't have. I used to love vaping, but now, I look at it as something that was just a waste. A waste of time, a waste for my body, a waste of money. Even though I thought it looked pretty cool at the time, I don't think it looks all that cool anymore. It just looks like somebody is enslaved to this product that somebody came out with. And when you start to see things that way, 
It makes it easier not to want to have certain things. Thanks to Lion Diet, I've been able to kick a lot of vices. Vaping was a big one for me because it didn't seem like it was all that bad, but it certainly was wasting a lot of my money and it certainly wasn't good for me. So being able to quit has certainly been a bonus. And I hope my story helps you if you've been trying to quit because if you're doing Lion Diet, you like to try to save money in places that you're normally spending money you shouldn't because eating meat isn't the cheapest thing in the world to do in the current economy. So I hope this helps you to be able to kick your habit and to be able to enjoy breathing clean air once again. So screw it. Get up and do it. You can kick that habit. I'll see you next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?